I'm also, when that horn gets ready to go off, I'll need this. Basketball fans, here we are. We're inside of Taylor Arena on the campus of Lewisburg College for the season opener for the Lewisburg Hurricanes men's basketball team. My name's Eric Lee. I'll be here with you today for the call. Looking forward to seeing the Hurricanes take on the Central Carolina Community College Cougars. A lot of preparation goes into these games, but especially for that first game of the season. Going to see a lot of different things tonight. The Hurricanes are coming off a season that uh, Coach Bagwell, frankly, would tell you is one he would like to forget. He's excited about the bunch he's got here and looking forward to seeing what these guys can do. Going to kick off the season tonight with the same opponent we kicked it off with a year ago. That's going to be Central Carolina last year. Kicked it off on November the 1st as well. In that game, the Hurricanes won it 83 to 75. Jimmy Forte led the way for the Hurricanes with 20 points on 7 of 14 shooting. Almondo Cyrus, key returner here for the Hurricanes, who played out of position all last year, out of necessity, did not score in that game. And Omar Brown had six points in his college debut. The Hurricanes were able to force 22 turnovers in the game, and they only turned it over 11 times. Central went seven for 20 from deep. And the Hurricanes had 13 steals in the contest. One theme you're going to see tonight from Central Carolina is going to be their attempts at shooting the three ball. You're going to see a lot of five out. You're going to see a lot of Carolina secondary break tonight. They're going to want to shoot the three, and they're going to want to get to the free throw line. That's how they're going to try to beat you. Defensively, they're going to play a lot of man-to-man. -man. They're going to show a little one-two-two zone. And uh, occasionally, we'll go with a three-quarter court trap with a 2-2-1. Two, two, In their final scrimmage leading up to the season, they knocked off Fayetteville Tech 69-67. to The Hurricanes hosted Mountain Gateway in their final scrimmage of the preseason, pulling away in that one and winning at 99-66. to Little bit of news on the injury front tonight. Omar Brown is going to be out tonight. He's been nursing a little bit of a bone bruise in his foot. But that's actually not what's keeping him out tonight. Uh, had a collision in practice with freshman Malachi Mayfield, who fell on him, going for a rebound. And he's being held out tonight for precautionary reasons. So... We will not see the sophomore from Gainesville, Florida. We're going to step away here for about a minute and a half. We'll come back with starting lineups, national anthem from the PA, and then I'll take over from the headset. We'll give you the play-by-play -play for Lewisburg College men's basketball here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel, live.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside of Roger Taylor Arena on the campus of Lewisburg College for today's men's basketball matchup featuring the Central Carolina Community College Cougars and your Lewisburg College Hurricanes. Fans, at this time, we ask that you would please rise and remove all caps as we honor America with the playing of her national anthem. your starters for tonight's game. First, for the visitors from Central Carolina. Number three, a guard, Andres Prince. Number four, a guard, Mark Damian Cooper. Number 10, a guard, Tayshawn Alexander. Number 23, a forward, Noah Munn. And number 24, a guard, Parker Watson. And now, the starting lineup for your Lewisburg College Hurricanes. A six-foot freshman. From Clayton, North Carolina, number one, Baron Williams. A six foot six freshman from Williamsburg, Virginia, number 22, Trayvon Gray. A six foot six freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina, number 23. I am Day Taylor. A six foot three sophomore from Vero Beach, Florida. Number zero, Almondo Cyrus. And a six foot two sophomore guard from Wilson, North Carolina. Number 15, Jimmy Forte. The head coach of the Hurricanes is Brian Bagwell. He is assisted by Chris Sanford and David Bagwell. Basketball fans, here we are. We're ready to tip it off inside Roger Taylor Arena. On the floor for the Hurricanes, we've got Cyrus, Williams, Forte, Gray, and Taylor. Looks like we got Taylor jumping it up, and the Hurricanes will win the opening tip. Baron Williams going to run the point. Forte puts up a quick three. It irons off. And Central Carolina will come away with a rebound here. A lot of five out going to happen tonight. We talked about that in the pregame. Lots of ball pressure defense from the Hurricanes. 
And there's a quick turnover that's been created on that ball pressure, something you're going to see a lot of tonight, most likely. Baron Williams bringing it up the court. Trey Gray calling out orders. Nearly throws that one away. Scooter Taylor in the post. Powerful move from the freshman there. And Scoot's got his first bucket. Now he's in defense in the post on the opposite end of the floor. And he's going to create another turnover. That's two possessions and two quick turnovers for the Hurricanes. And now we're going to have a carrying violation. Not something you see a lot of. Setting a tone early in this one. Veteran officiating crew tonight. Jimmy Forte playing defense on the ball. Quick drive. Scooter Taylor deflects a shot there. Trey Gray comes away with a rebound. He gets it ahead to Jimmy Forte. Taylor pulls a quick three, misses. We'll go back the other way, and Central Carolina will get their first bucket. Two to two early on here. A little over 18 minutes to play. Jimmy Forte misses a Three from the corner. Almondo Cyrus with the putback misses as well. And on the other end, we have a missed three point basket. Putback and a foul on the play. Looks like it's going against Trey Gray. That'll be his first, team's first. And number 23, Noah Munn, will finish the three-point play. Cyrus drives, gets it taken away. And Allende Taylor going to pick up a foul 90 feet from the basket. That'll be his first and the team's second. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And Trey Gray rebounds it, gets it ahead to Cyrus, who steps out of bounds. It'll go back the other way. That'll be the first Lewisburg turnover. Number four, Mark Damian Cooper. Brings it up. And looks like Jay Lewis's pass is going to go out of bounds, and that'll be the third turnover early for the Cougars. Baron Williams is going to put a three up here. Doesn't fall. Scooter Taylor comes away with the rebound on the offensive glass, and he'll go to the line and shoot a couple. First team foul for Central Carolina.
Taylor makes the first. Early substitutions here for the Hurricanes. Taylor misses the second one. Tim Robinson, who just checked in, tips it out of bounds. It'll be Central Carolina ball. Sixteen thirty-five and counting here. Central Carolina leads it early, five to three. Drive and kick. Jumper is no good. That'll be a team rebound for the Hurricanes, and we'll come back this way. Baron Williams bringing it up. Ball pressure provided by number 10, Keshawd Alexander. Almondo Cyrus drives baseline really strong there. And he'll get his first bucket of the season. Close out on the three-point shooter there. And lazy foul. That'll go against Tim Robinson. That'll be his first foul. That'll be the third against the Hurricanes. Five on the floor right now for the Hurricanes. Baron Williams, Almondo Cyrus, Allende Scooter Taylor. Trey Gray is checked back in. And Jimmy Forte. Both free throws are good. Stand corrected, first one was missed. It is a six to five basketball game. Trey Gray drives baseline, shots no good. Central Carolina quickly back the other direction. Shot is blocked by Almondo Cyrus. And we're going to get our first look here at freshman Jordan Kearney. He'll come in for Jimmy Forte. Kearney, a great kid, really humble, has no idea how talented he really is. Talking to Coach Bagwell, Coach Bagwell and Coach Sanford, they're really excited about what this kid's got as potential. Trey Gray gets his shot swiped away. Central Carolina back the other way. Open three, no good. Ayende Taylor with the rebound. Williams pushes, and he'll kick it back out. We'll slow it down. And Coach Bagwell makes a call. Let's we'll get into this Princeton high post stuff here. A lot of contact, and we will get the foul call there. It's going to be a second team foul going against Central Carolina. More subs. Jaden Munson going to see his first action. Another freshman, Coach Bagwell, extremely excited about. And we're going to have Jacob Thornton. Going to go baseline out of bounds here. Short delay. Not sure what we got. Ball goes into Trey Gray. He'll go off the dribble, strong to the basket. He is fouled on the way up, and he will go to the line for two. Three team fouls apiece.
Trey Gray will miss the first here. Got some confusion here at the scorer's table. We'll see what's going on. See if we can get an explanation on this. Not sure what we got, but we do have a free throw upcoming here for Trayvon Gray. Freshman from Williamsburg, and the second one rims out two. Tipped out of bounds by Almondo Cyrus. Ball pressure's there. Big drive. Wow. Looked like pretty good defense there. They're going to get Jaden Munson. That'll be his first. Team's fourth. Free throw rim out. And second one will roll in. Here comes Munson. Nearly throws it away. Number four, Mark Damian Cooper. Cyrus will trigger it in. And Jaden Munson will take it, will run the high post. Kearney. Misses the layup, contested highly. Tips out of bounds by Cyrus going for the rebound. Central Carolina quickly back the other way. And they'll throw it away. That's their fourth turnover. Munson quickly up the floor. Gets it into the front court. Tim Robinson will pull a three. He'll miss everything. What a hustle play by Munson or to get that one. Get it to Cyrus, who makes a... Acrobatic shot. We got an injured Cougar down on the floor. We're going to go to media timeout here with 13.44 to play in the opening half. Your score is knotted at seven. We'll be right back with Lewisburg College men's basketball on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live.
We're back with you inside Taylor Arena here. Travis Horn getting his first action. And ball handler will drive it. And he'll get fouled by Jordan Kearney. He'll go to the line and shoot a couple. Decent crowd here tonight. Can't necessarily see that on camera. Pretty well filled behind the benches. Balcony seating is open for the first time since pre-COVID. Really good to see folks back up in the chair backs up in the balcony. Both free throws will go in, making it 9-7, to seven, Central Carolina. Munson brings it up. Central Carolina applying a lot of ball pressure here. Cyrus nearly throws it away. Kearney will come up with it. Ball stripped away from Malachi Mayfield. And the three-point shooters. Looks like we're going to have a foul. It's going to go against number 11. Um, that may be a mistake. Coming back the other way, in any case, it'll be a team foul against the Cougars. Jaden Munson has it. He'll give it to Travis Horn. Big body in the post. Created some space. Missed the short jumper. Central Carolina will turn it back the other way. And another missed three. Munson will bring it up. He finds Travis Horn all alone underneath the basket. That'll be a bucket early here for Travis Horn. Malachi Mayfield comes up with a big block on the other end. And he'll shoot the three on this end and make it. Malachi Mayfield, the kid with the relentless motor, coming in and creating an offensive spark. Davion Vick into the game as well. Another turnover. That's turnover number six that the Hurricanes have created already. Jaden Munson will bring it up. Just across the timeline, tries to set things up. Travis Horn again misses the layup this time. And a wide open Cougar on the other end will tie this back up. Travis Horn loses his dribble. Malachi Mayfield puts a short jumper up, misses short. 
running back the other way. And there's a three for the first time tonight for Central Carolina. That'll be a turnover as Jane Munson steps out of bounds right in front of the Central Carolina bench. About midway through this first half of play, uh, Hurricanes are trailing it 15 to 12. Lots of chaos down on the end of the floor. Looks like we're going to have a foul. And Tim Robinson going to go to the line here, shoot a couple. First shot's up, nothing but net there. That'll be Robinson's first point. And he'll miss the second. Central Carolina running five out here, looking for a screener. Malachi Mayfield providing intense ball pressure. Drive and kick, another three on the way. No good. Taylor tries to save it, going out of bounds. And steps on the line, and it'll stay with the Cougars. Ball out top, guarded by Jimmy Forte, drive and kick. Another missed three, and that'll go out of bounds. Team rebound for the Hurricanes. The shots just aren't falling early here for the Hurricanes. Playing really good defense. That's what's keeping them in it. Just can't get anything to go in the basket. Davion Vick will try a three. His three's no good. Baron Williams will run down the rebound and get it to Scooter Taylor. And... He'll get called for the charge here. Fifth foul against the Hurricanes. Taylor's second. And there's your first foul trouble of the night. Baron Williams will guard the ball coming up the floor as fans continue to float into this place. Missed layup, great defense underneath by Vic and Mayfield. Jimmy Forte will try to get it up the floor. What a flop there by that Central Carolina defender. Can't see who that is. Just threw his hips right into Jimmy Forte. 
It's going to be Parker Watson. Great acting job on his part. Give the man an Oscar. Unfortunately for him, the official didn't buy it. Jimmy Forte from the corner, no good. Robinson will rebound it and swat it away out of bounds. Hurricanes will have baseline out of bounds here. Baron Williams will trigger this one in. Davion Vick, Malachi Mayfield, Tim Robinson, Jimmy Forte and Baron Williams are your five on the floor for the Hurricanes right now. Forte, another three, no good. And the fast break layups, no good. And we're going to have a foul in the backcourt. Which will send Jimmy Forte to the line for one and one. The Hurricanes are winning a lot of battles that Coach Bagwell wanted them to win tonight. They're getting open shots. They're preventing the Cougars from the making the three-point basket. They've shot more free throws. They just don't have a lot to show for it. Tim Robinson with a big offensive rebound. Can't follow. These. We'll go back the other way. Coast to coast goes Mark Damian Cooper. And looks like We'll try it again on this end. Tim Robinson finishes that time. Seventeen sixteen. Cougars lead. Lots of energy on the defensive end of the floor here. Tough shot will fall for number two, Jay Lewis. Baron Williams just drives the lane and gets fouled. He's going to shoot two shots. But we will go to media timeout first with 6.38 to play here in the opening half. Central Carolina will lead your Lewisburg Hurricanes 2016 here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live.
We're back here on Lewis Burton College's official YouTube channel. Darren Williams will be at the line here, shooting two shots. Kearney, Cyrus, Robinson, and Mayfield will join him on the floor. And Williams' first shot will go down. Second attempt's no good. Long three-point attempt, no good. Long rebound for the Cougars. And the drive and dump. It's an easy basket there for Central Carolina. They lead it 22-17 with about six minutes to play. Baron Williams will pull from three. That's no good. Kearney will shoot a three. That's no good. Tim Robinson with the offensive rebound. And he'll get it to go. Making it 22-19. And Mayfield's going to commit the foul. That'll be Malachi Mayfield's first. That'll be the Hurricane's sixth. Foul occurred in the act of shooting. So number 12, I think. Jerseys are hard to see here. Dark blue numbers on a black jersey. We're going to go with number 12, Nathan Willis. Being at the line, he's going to miss the first. And the second one, nothing but net. Hurricanes trail by four. Jaden Munson to Almondo Cyrus in the corner. Three's no good. We'll go the other way. A lot of dribbling out top. Willis airballs a three. And... Steps out of bounds, but we have an official that has overruled another official, and we're going to have a foul call. We're going to be shooting one and one here as that's the seventh Hurricane team foul. Gonna have to see who that foul was on. He'll miss the front end, Cyrus with the rebound. Munson drives and kicks to Cyrus, who sinks it. And the Hurricanes needed that bucket there. Trying to limp this thing to halftime after an abysmal first half shooting the basketball. Mayfield just smothers the ball. And Robinson rebounds it. Jaden Munson quick up the floor. He gets it to Mayfield. Cyrus will try it again from deep. That one will rim out. Hurricanes trail by one, 23 to 22. Under four to play, first half. 
And circus shot won't go. Rebounded by Robinson to Munson. Munson will go the distance. And there's another charge. That'll be Munson's second foul. Here comes Thornton checking in the game for Malachi Mayfield. Carly Hanna from the softball team onto the floor, wiping up a little sweat, making sure the players stay safe. Munson Cyrus, Forte Thornton, and Robinson are on the floor here. Eight team fouls apiece, steal. Munson will go the other way, miss it. Robinson rebounds it and puts it back. And the Hurricanes take the lead back. Munson gets a hand in there. He'll throw it up to Almondo Cyrus, who will jam it home. And that'll force Central Carolina to call a timeout. Cyrus with the showstopper. Forces a Cougar timeout with 2.51 to play in the first half. Hurricanes lead it 26-23 here on Lewisburg College's YouTube channel live. And we're back here live on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel. Hurricanes have gone on a quick burst here. Lots of energy created on the defensive end of the floor. Jaden Munson got to be careful here with two fouls. Almondo Cyrus tips it out and Rebounded by Central Carolina, another missed three. And Thornton will get the rebound and get it to Munson. Jimmy Forte drives it left side and he'll finish at the basket. Three ball back the other way, no good. Here comes Jimmy Forte down the floor. He'll pull from three. He'll miss everything. What a rebound by Tim Robinson. That's just an effort rebound right there. Jaden Munson will attempt a three, and his is no good. Jimmy Forte finally picks up his first field goal of the season. Leading returning scorer for the Hurricanes, averaged almost 15 a game last year in only 15 games. Drive, shot is no good. They're going to get 
Almondo Cyrus. That'll be his first. That'll be the Hurricanes' ninth team foul. Central Carolina will be shooting two for every foul the rest of the first half. Only 128 to play. Parker Watson gets his first free throw to go. Substitutes all around here. Baron Williams, Almondo Cyrus, Malachi Mayfield, Jimmy Forte, Tim Robinson are your five Hurricanes on the floor as Watson's second free throw goes. And we got another charge. It's going to go against Tim Robinson. That's going to be his second. Player control foul, so we won't shoot free throws here on the 10th team foul. Davion Vick will check into the game. Aaron Williams will guard the ball. And it goes to Malachi Mayfield defending it. And he'll get a five-second call. Great defense there by Mayfield forcing that five-second call. We're going to see Jamel Marbury. He'll get his first action. Bagwell's not happy about something there, but he'll call his timeout, his use it or lose it timeout. We'll take it with him. Here on the Hurricane Sports Network, Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live. And we're back. Hurricanes lead it 28-25, a minute to go. Baron Williams directing traffic on the offensive end. Malachi Mayfield hands it off to Marbury. And Marbury's going to turn it over. That's big right there because Marbury's turnover results in Mayfield's second foul. First free throw up and good. Pulls the Cougars within two. 47 seconds to play. And Willis will miss the second one. That'll rim off to Jimmy Forte. Let's see if the Hurricanes try to go two for one here. They're not going to, maybe, Forte. And the turnover. Malachi Mayfield steals it. Darren Williams gets it across the timeline. Looks like the Hurricanes are playing for one shot here. Mayfield 
Misses everything except glass. Robinson gets the rebound. He'll put it back up, and that's how we'll end the first half. We'll head to the locker room. Hurricanes leading it 30 to 26. We'll take a short break here and we'll come back. We'll recap this first half and get you set for the second half of play here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live.
All right, folks, we're back here for the second half of play. Tough opening 15 minutes for the Hurricanes, but they were able to outscore Central Carolina 13 to three. Close out the first half. Got a clock issue here. While we're getting that resolved, Almondo Cyrus led the way for the Hurricanes there in the first half with nine. He was joined with nine by Tim Robinson. Big collision there. Like they're going to get Scooter Taylor there with his third foul. First team foul of the second half. Shot will go down for Parker Watson. Jimmy Forte handles it out top and gives it off to Almondo Cyrus. Big dribble called for carry. That's going to be our second carry of the game. Results in a turnover, and Central Carolina will possess the basketball with an opportunity to take the lead. Ayende Taylor. Lots of Contact there looked to me like they may have missed. Central Carolina's rebounder going through Scooter Taylor's back. That's another three. That's not what you want to see here if you're the Hurricanes to open the second half. Two quick threes for Central Carolina. Jimmy Forte's three is long. And here comes another three, and it's good. And just like that, Central Carolina goes on a 9-0 run on three shots inside of two minutes in the second half. Scooter Taylor plays tough underneath. Gets a bucket to try to stop the bleeding. And Almondo Cyrus will pick up a foul. His second, team second, on the arm bar. Mondo Cyrus thought he dribbled it off the Central Carolina defender. 
But instead, the call is that he dribbled it off himself. Ball come back this way. Tim Robinson guards Parker Watson. And no basket interference there. Where is the call on that? Holy cow. How do you miss that? Baron Williams into the lane, short jumper, no good. Rebound to Central Carolina. And he travels with the basketball, but holy cow. I mean, that's textbook basket interference. That's a terrible miss by the officials. Veteran crew, somebody has to see that. Nonetheless, Hurricanes get the ball. Cyrus's jumper is no good. Jaden Munson will hustle for the rebound and he'll throw it away. Central's gonna set up, five out. And another three on the way, and finally a miss. Munson ahead to Cyrus. Cyrus goes up hard, gets fouled, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. Central Carolina Opens up the second half on an 11 to two run here. Cyrus, sophomore from Vero Beach, Florida, makes his first. Second one will be good, too. Pulls the Hurricanes within a bucket. And the three-point shot misses everything. Jaden Munson's going to run the point here. He goes up the floor. Gets it to the corner to Forte. Forte's pass is tipped out of bounds. Almondo Cyrus, backdoor cut. Underneath the basket on the inbounds play. Hurricanes pull back within one. Lots of hands on defense. Loose ball. Hurricanes all over the floor. Don't end up with it. But you have to appreciate the effort. Cyrus pulls up. Jumper no good. We're going to have a foul 92 feet from Central Carolina's basket. The call is 15. I'm thinking, oh, yep, Jimmy Forte is on the floor. That'll be Jimmy's first foul. And that'll be the third team foul already here in the second half. Central Carolina has none. We're gonna go the other way. Gonna have an illegal screen called. That'll go against Trey John Fuller.
Kearney Robinson, Munson, Mayfield, and Cyrus on the floor for the Hurricanes. Cyrus's three is short. Central Carolina comes back the other way. And they'll turn it over. Munson's going to run a point here. Tim Robinson spins and puts it up. Nice move from the big guy. And that'll be his first bucket of the second half. That'll get him to double figures. Kearney takes a chance there, doesn't get it. Caught out of position, continues to play defense, and Robinson's going to come away with the rebound, and he'll give it off to Munson. Hurricanes are going to try to get the lead back here with 14 to play the second half. Kearney's going to pull. No good. Cyrus can't tip it back out. And we're going to have a foul call. Looks like we got a foul here on Malachi Mayfield. That'll be his third, team's fourth. We're going to go to media timeout. When we come back, we'll have Central Carolina at the line shooting two. You're watching Lewisburg College men's basketball here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live. We're back on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel. Central Carolina is going to send number 44. That's Timothy Mitchell to the line. He's going to shoot a couple. They're winning the foul battle right now, that's for sure. As they've not been called for a foul yet, we're six and a half minutes in. Misses both free throws. Scooter Taylor comes away with a rebound. Gives to Munson. Go back up to top to Munson here. Munson's going to set up an offense. Bagwell calls a play out. Ball goes to Cyrus in the corner. Hard foul. Cyrus goes to the floor. A little bit slow to get up. Still down. And his teammates are going to help him up. And he will go to the line to shoot a couple. Finally get a foul call to go against the Cougars. It only took the official seven minutes to find one. And 
Cyrus' first free throw is good. He's leading the way tonight for the Hurricanes offensively. Currently with 14. Second free throw goes down as well. That'll give him 15. Hurricanes lead it 40-39. 13 minutes to play. And there's another Central Carolina turnover. Munson walks it up. Shot clock now moving. Ball goes to the corner, back to the wing, and Cyrus, and he'll rattle a three home. Uh, Almondo Cyrus really looking good tonight, folks. Hurricanes lead it, 43-39. They've gotten back everything they lost on that 11 to two burst to open the second half. And now we're gonna have a held ball. It's gonna be Hurricane basketball. Great defense there. Tim Robinson ties up the ball handler. Munson gets it across the timeline. Out top, Ayende Taylor who kicks to Almondo Cyrus. Baseline out of bounds here for the Hurricanes. Officials give the thumbs up to the scorer's table. Letting them know they did a good job holding the shot clock there. And Scooter Taylor underneath. He'll take the pass and put it in. Hurricanes lead it by six, under 12 to play. Ball goes to the corner, three away, no good. Cyrus with the rebound. He throws it way ahead to Jordan Kearney. Ball's tipped out of bounds by a Cougar defender, and it's gonna stay with the Hurricanes. Bourne's gonna check in for Almondo Cyrus. High fives all the way down the line there for Cyrus. Everybody loving that effort tonight. Ayende Taylor's three, no good. Rebound away to Jacob Thornton who puts it back up. And just like that, Thornton has his first bucket of the game. Hurricanes lead it, 47-39, currently sitting on an 8-0 run. And that'll stop that 8-0 run. Forty-seven, forty-one. Munson drives it. A lot of contact, but no foul call. And another easy bucket for the Cougars. Forty-seven, forty-three. Munson gets it across the timeline. Twenty to shoot. Good pass, back door. Kearney gets the bucket. And that'll be Jordan Kearney's first college basket. Defensive stop on the other end. The kick to Kearney for three. And the Hurricane offense is heating up here in the second half of play. Jordan Kearney with five quick points. 
And Parker Watson will answer with a three of his own for Central Carolina. Kearney has it again. He'll kick to Thornton, who's going to shoot the three, and that one's good! Jacob Thornton drills a three. What an acrobatic shot back down here on the other end by number 54, John Eason Jr. to answer back. Munson will bring it back across the timeline. He'll kick to Thornton, who shoots again. This one's no good. Taylor with the rebound. Basket's good, and the foul. What a finish by Scooter Taylor. Allende Scooter Taylor finishes strong. He'll go to the line to find out, try and finish this three-point play and get the hurricane lead to double digits. <laughs> Taylor's free throw, no good. Malachi Mayfield waits at the scores table. Next dead ball, get him in for Taylor. Short jumper, no good. Taylor with the rebound. Williams will be in at the point. Davion Vick, strong drive. Can't finish. And we're going to have a foul. Not sure who this one's going against, but it is going against a hurricane. Looks like they're going to get Baron Williams. And Mayfield will check in the game. Much deserved rest here for Allende Scooter Taylor. It's a different baseline out of bounds look than what the Hurricanes prepared for this afternoon. So we'll see what we get here. Not really sure. I thought Davion Vick got the ball there. The official did not see it that way. And the Cougars will send number five, Christian Sherouse, to the line for three. Misses the first. He'll make the second. Trey Gray at the scorer's table. First one will, or excuse me, third one will roll in. And Trey Gray is going to get Tim Robinson. You got Gray Williams, Mayfield, Vic, and Forte on the floor. Williams is fouled. G. 
Jimmy Forte wants in on it. Rims off. And we got a foul call there. Bagwell not happy about that one. Gives a clap of the hands and a yell of no. He let the official know what he thought about that. In a shocking development, Central Carolina is shooting free throws. Fifty-seven, fifty-two, seven forty-one to play. That'll be a foul on number five, Christian Sherous. Davion Vick will trigger that one in now. Hurricanes continue to try to run them off the three-point line. Barron Williams gets it. Turnover. Can't finish. Trey Gray with the rebound. Can't finish. Scooter Taylor will get the job done on the offensive glass, and he'll finish the play. Hurricanes lead it by 10. Biggest lead of the night. 6.52 to play. Running jumper in the lane. Cuts the lead to eight. 6.46 to play. Hurricanes lead it 62 54 here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel live. And we're back here in Roger Taylor Arena. Hurricanes lead it 62-54, 6.46 to play. Baron Williams will bring it up the court. Works it across the timeline. Hurricane offense is going to set up now. Drive and kick, Jimmy Forte misses again. You don't mind that shot if you're Coach Bagwell. Jimmy Forte might be the most prolific scorer on this team. And shooters shoot. That's just what they do. Ayende Taylor misses the dunk. Almondo Cyrus with the follow, the finish, the foul. Wow. Big time effort from the sophomore from Vero Beach, Florida. Thank you. 
Almondo Cyrus favors his right ankle. He tweaked it. And the free throw's good, extending the hurricane lead to 11. Cyrus missed the Mountain Gateway scrimmage with an ankle injury. And Central Carolina will get the shooter's roll there. That'll make it 65-57. Hurricanes with the ball and the lead. Tim Robinson nearly finishes a circus shot, but he'll go to the line and shoot a couple. Cyrus continues to work on that ankle. Maybe it's not an ankle, maybe it's a cramp. Robinson's first free throw, no good. Looks like a cramp. Davion Vick's gonna go to the scorer's table. Looks like he'll get Cyrus. And Robinson's second free throw is good. Sixty-six, fifty-seven. As we approach five minutes to play in the ball game, Tim Robinson's fronting the post here. Another three for Central Carolina. You know they're going to shoot it. You know they're going to make some. You just got to defend it the best you can. And Baron Williams will throw that one away. And Trey Gray is going to get Tim Robinson. have a timeout on the floor here called by Central Carolina four forty three to play sixty six sixty two hurricanes lead it Central Carolina's made a little run at it here Climbed right back in this one after trailing by as much as 11. It was 65-54. They've gone on a 8-1 run to cut that lead to four. Little recap of where we're at with fouls. It's like Cyrus is going to have two. Munson's got two. Robinson with two. Gray with two. Scooter Taylor's got three. And Malachi Mayfield has three. There's your foul trouble update. And we're going to put it back in play. With 442 to play. Jaden Munson back in, running the point. He'll get it to Kearney, who shoots and makes it. Jordan Kearney for three. Much needed basket right there. A lot of dribbling 
Hurricanes denying. Great job by Scooter Taylor stepping in the path of the pass. 11 to shoot here for the Cougars. 4-10 in the game. Hurricanes lead it, 69-62. Kearney on ball. And they're going to get him with two hands on the defense, on the ball handler, excuse me. And we're going to shoot one and one. And the front end is missed. Iende Taylor to Kearney in the corner. And another three, Jordan Kearney drills it from the corner. Somebody guard the man because he's on fire. Hurricanes have their lead back to 10. My goodness, he was wide open. Nathan Willis on the backdoor cut. And here comes that 2-2-1 two, two, three-quarter court. Cyrus wide open on the other end, misses a layup. Taylor comes away with it, miss, rebounds his own miss, and can't finish. Basket on the other end. Scooter Taylor, four, three. And Bagwell will call a timeout. It'll be a 30. My goodness. I don't know what they said to Iende Taylor at halftime, but I hope they say it again before the game next, next time. Iende Taylor in the second half alone has got 16 points. Two fifty-five to play. Full thirty seconds on the shot clock here for Central. Seventy-five, sixty-six Hurricanes. Clock moving. Foul's going to go against Almondo Cyrus. The official's having a conversation, though, with number 10, Tayshawn Alexander. Obviously didn't like the way that that uh, play unfolded there. A lot of offensive contact. I'm sure that Cyrus committed the foul. Did look like there was some high contact go. And that almost looked like it served as a warning. First free throw is no good. And second one is made. 75 67. Circus act underneath the basket, and Almondo Cyrus will get another bucket. That's going to be a cheap touch foul, but a foul nonetheless. 
Cyrus is fourth. Munson, Kearney, Taylor, Gray, Cyrus on the floor for the Hurricanes. Can't convert. The lead will stay at eight. Munson guarded closely. Trey Gray with the ball, gives it up to Kearney. And looks like we're gonna have a shot clock violation. And Scooter Taylor denies entry pass, forces a bad one, and it'll go out of bounds back to the Hurricanes. 2-2-1, three-quarter court trap here. Jaden Munson gets it ahead to Cyrus. Cyrus cross court to Kearney, tipped away. It'll stay with the Hurricanes, 18 to shoot. Minute 33 on the game clock. Munson triggers in to Trey Gray. Takes a long jump shot and is fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot a pair. Gray's first free throw is good. His first point of the night. Misses the second. The lead is nine. We're gonna get Scooter Taylor here. On the block. First free throw is missed. And the second one is missed. Looks like Central Carolina is going to drop into straight man-to-man. -man. And Jimmy Forte will step out of bounds. Tough night for the sophomore from Wilson. Undoubtedly the emotional leader of this bunch, along with Omar Brown. Again, Brown didn't play tonight. As a precaution due to injury, Central Carolina will throw that one away. Even on a tough night, though, you got to love Jimmy Forte staying on the floor, continuing to shoot. He's the glue guy, so to speak, for Coach Bagwell's bunch. 
He's always the guy that puts the team first, no matter what. Munson gets it across the timeline and throws it away. Taylor wasn't ready for the pass. Layup no good. Central Carolina's number 13, Jerome McKinnis, gets the follow. And we're going to have a timeout here called by Central Carolina. It's going to be a full timeout. Looks like we're going to be 30. They're going to put 38 seconds on the shot clock instead of 36. Correction, game clock, not shot clock. Almondo Cyrus leads the scoring tonight. With 23. Allende Taylor has added 19. Jordan Kearney has come up with three big three-point buckets here in the second half to give him 11 total. Tim Robinson with 12. Bagwell has to be pleased with the balanced scoring effort. Jaden Munson takes it. Gets fouled in the backcourt. And Munson's going to go to the line. 32.2 to play. 78-71. Hurricanes lead it. It's going to turn into a free throw shooting contest now. And Munson misses the first. Hurricanes were 11 of 19 from the line before that one. And now they're going to be 12 of 21. That's Munson's first point tonight. Don't let that fool you for the role he's played, though. Critical, critical role. Perhaps the best passer Coach Bagwell's coached in 20 years. Basket's good, and that'll be Cyrus's fifth foul. He's done for the night. Not a smart one either. Twenty-three points for him. He'll finish with tonight. Jimmy Forte will check back in. Your five on the floor for the Hurricanes are Munson, Forte, Taylor, Gray, and Kearney. And that was a really bad miss. Quick foul call. Jaden Monson will go the other end and shoot two. Twenty-one point one to play. Seventy-nine, seventy-three. Hurricanes. Munson shooting two. First is long. 
12 of 22 now for the Hurricanes from the line. It's got to be something Bagwell is going to walk away from this one thinking we got to work on. Thirteen for twenty-three as Munson gets the second one. His second point tonight. He'll go to the bench, and Baron Williams will come on the floor. They'll stop the ball, Handler. And Nathan Willis will drain a three. 80-76, 10.7 to play. Hurricanes with the lead and the ball. They'll go baseline out of bounds, 94 feet from their basket. They will be able to run the baseline here. Looks like we're going to put 13.5 on the shot on the game clock instead of 10.7. Still a two possession ball game. Officials coming together here. Conversating about something, not sure what it is. I believe Central Carolina is down to their final timeout. I don't believe that substitution should have been allowed. That has to happen prior to the first horn. And now the officials got together and got it right. It was a good try. I'll give my I'll give him the tip of the hat there. Ball tipped out of bounds. Now we got a sub coming in the game. 11.5 to play. And we're going to send Scooter Taylor to the line. 9.7 to play. And that'll be five fouls. And a disqualification for Central Carolina's number 23, Noah Munn. Iende Taylor. Can't decide whether I want to call him Iende or Scooter, but he'll go to the line. First is good. And Taylor's second is good. Central Carolina got to have the three now. 9.7 to go, down, th down six. They got to have a three. Let them drive it if you want to drive it. That's fine right there. We'll see what we're going to have. Maybe three seconds on the clock. 82-78, three seconds to play. Kearney releases down the floor, and Scooter Taylor is going to get fouled. He'll go to the line for another pair. Looks like Hurricanes are going to win this one. One point seven to play up four. 
Taylor misses the first. What a debut for the freshman, though. And misses them both. And that'll do it, folks. Your final score is going to be 82 to 78. The Hurricanes escape. What a scare. Almondo Cyrus with 23 in his sophomore debut. Ayende uh, Taylor is going to finish. with 21 in his college debut. Jordan Kearney with 11, Baron Williams with one. Two for Jaden Munson, two for Travis Horn. 12 for Tim Robinson. Three for Jimmy Forte on a tough night shooting the basketball. Trayvon Gray with a free throw made for one. Malachi Mayfield, he'll finish with three. And Jacob Thornton will finish with five. Fans, we thank you for joining us tonight. Inside Roger Taylor Arena, we hope you will come back, join us again. The Hurricanes will be home again November the 4th. A lot of things to work on. A lot of positives to take away. The uh, Hurricanes will play Spartanburg Methodist Friday. And look forward to another long season of Hurricane basketball here. Fans, we thank you again for joining us here on Lewisburg College's official YouTube channel, live.